to talk about Smash Remix. And if you remember Super Smash Brothers for the original Nintendo 64, it went like this. These are the only options you get. Yikes. Data, you get characters and versus record. And there aren't a lot of characters. That's, that's it. That was everybody. My bad, let me go into versus mode. Okay, so. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna let it randomly pick someone so I can go to the next screen, which is to select a stage. That's it. That's all the stages. Literally, that's all the stages. I can't look at this anymore. Because this is what you get with Smash Remix. Free for all! Sorry, I forgot about the volume. I'll go with that. This is only the first page of levels.
I just wanted to slip a quick note in here to show how much extra stuff that you get. You get the same stuff under options, but if you go under data, you now get a gallery. There's a lot of pictures, I don't feel like going through all this, but I know you will see some of the new characters in here. Yeah, Dr. Mario, Child Link, but, okay, the other thing you get is an absolute ton of settings. This is screen one under Remix, screen two, and three. Gameplay settings. It has two screens. Music settings. Stage settings. Pokemon settings. Player tags, I'm not sure what that does. Other screens, you can view the intro or the how to play. I was hoping there was going to be a setting to turn the how to play off, but I didn't see one. Okay, if anybody wants to know what I do to actually get this looking good, I go to Core Options Glide N64, and I change the resolution to 960 by 720 The second thing I do is I go down to Shaders. I go to Load Preset. It's under what? Edge Smoothing, HQX, and I do HQ4X. And then I go to overrides and save overrides. Oh yeah, I mean you can do save preset if you want to, but definitely save overrides. The third thing I do is I set overscan parameters, otherwise you're going to get something that looks similar to this. You're just going to keep the flashing border on there the whole time. If you want to turn that off, this is the only thing I found that works. You want to take the overscan settings, change them all to 12. Okay, you do have to close it and restart it and the settings should take effect. Yep, perfect. If you'd like to know how I got this ROM file, I go to DuckDuckGo, I type in Smash Remix GitHub, go to the GitHub page and I download this archive. Then I type in X Delta Patcher Linux and I download this, Delta Patcher 315, the latest version. This works for Linux and Windows, by the way. I was just recommending this because I've used it a few times, it's very good. Now I've already got all these archives so I don't have to download anything, but you'll see when you unzip this, it does actually have a script here that's supposed to be able to patch, but I've tried it and it just doesn't work. So here's your Delta Patcher. I'm going to unzip that. I'm going to take the patch from this and throw it in that folder. And that should be pretty much all I need. Besides the ROM. I had this old ROM laying around from a long time ago, so that's the one I'm going to use. Which, for some stupid reason, it seems to have read-only permissions. So I'm going to change this to read and write all the way down. Okay. I'm going to drop this in the folder too. And that's the only folder I need. All you have to do is run Delta Patcher... Give it the original file, you'll see that's 16.8 megabytes. Matter of fact, let me put this in list view. Now select your patch and click apply. Patch successfully applied. You'll see the size just changed to 65.5 megabytes. That's one thing this patcher does is it overwrites the original file so 
whatever you're going to patch with it, make sure you have a backup first because you won't have the original anymore if you don't. That's everything I can tell you guys about how to patch the ROM and get it to work correctly in RetroArch. Sorry, can't tell you where to get the ROM, but it's easy enough to find out there, trust me. Anyway, thanks again for watching this video and you have a great night.